Hey there YouTube, my name is Sal. Um, I'm here, I'm gonna try out a uh, hammock that I just recently got. Um, I'm gonna try it out as far as my motorcycle camping. Normally I do tent camping, but uh, I ran into this YouTuber uh, by the name of Moto Giant, and he was talking about the benefits of uh, the hammock camp, you know, as far as uh, easy setup and everything else compared to the tent. It looked interesting, wanted to try it, so here we are. Um, problem is, you know, time that I got this tent we're still in lockdown in Illinois you know and it's kind of hard to find trees uh, that you know are, are close together as far as the forest preserves that I went to and, you know being that a lot of them are closed and the parks nearby uh, you know they're kind of slim and none as far as trees where I'm at so and I can't really go that far you know what I mean because they it's like the Gestapo anyway so uh, I got me like a $30 comp from River Country products, you know, it's got a, a hammock, I'm sorry, not a hammock, but a hammock and a tarp uh, that goes along with it for 30 bucks. And, you know, meanwhile, while I was uh, waiting for the hammock, I started looking around and seeing, hey, where can I try this thing, you know, and then that's when I noticed, hey, you know what, I'm not going to be able to try it out, and I do want to, you know, go camping before this stuff starts, so, or before this stuff ends, um, or, yeah, I, I, I want to get out. Anyway, um, so I was looking on the net and I happened to see uh, what is called a Tensa Outdoor on the website and they had like, uh, like you know, independent hammock stands. They had uh, one particular item that was called the Tensa 4 uh, uh, hammock stand and it's got like four poles, aluminum poles, and you could set them up everywhere, you know, it was like $300 and I was like, I don't know if I could do that. Uh, but they did have another option on there called trekking trees, which was, you know, two uh, trekking poles, basically, that you can set up either one and a tree or, you know, two and no tree and set up a hammock on it. And uh, they were cool, you know, except they were $200 each. And then, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to like hammock. So uh, I looked on the same site and they had a cheaper version uh, called the Tensa Solo Stand. And, uh, you know, I saw a motorcycle on the picture, so that kind of drew me in there. But it's uh, aluminum, it's bigger, it's bulkier, you know, but it's basically the same thing for cheaper. Yeah. The stand, it basically comes with an aluminum uh, hole, and then you get your choice of two uh, stakes and then the webbing that goes along with it. And then they had uh, two different type of stakes. They had, these are called the orange screws, they were like $11 each. I didn't buy them. I got it from Amazon orange screw the company I got four of them for $24 as opposed to two for 24 you know what I'm saying and then uh, you put them on and it's supposed to work so here we are I'm gonna try them out um, bear with me and uh, be patient with me because I don't know what the hell I'm doing nor do I know what I'm talking about just in case you haven't been paying attention So, the way this works, from the little information that they have on the PDF and on the website, you're supposed to set up the stakes about six to eight feet away from the pole, and about six to eight feet from each other. And then you're setting up the pump. I mean, it's like I said, it, it seems fairly simple and easy. It doesn't say like how far you got to set it up, you know, as far as one pole from the other. Uh, but I'm guessing it's got to be somewhere around 10 to 12 feet. Anyway, I'm going to try these out instead of the, uh, the boom stakes. Kind of 
nice. I like these steaks. Yeah, and I guess they sell the uh, the hammock stand, the, the actual pole itself, separate, and then you can sort of part about park this stuff out. I mean, if you're, if I would have known, I think I would have just bought the pole itself, and that's like 69 bucks on the website. And then the other stuff, you know, you, you kind of sure people have like extra hammocks, have extra straps that they could put on. You know, and as far as the stakes, like I said, go to Amazon, I got four for 24. I mean, you know, it's a pretty decent deal from uh, the site itself. And they've got to make money. Alright, so basically this is it right here. For now, I'll just leave it hanging this way so it doesn't fall. And we'll do the other side. Said, I'm just guessing on the side here. Hoping it'll all fit. And I figure try to make them parallel to the other stakes. It's supposed to be evened out. Yeah, I figured I'd try my hand at uh, auto camping, you know. I looked at, you know, that moto giant. He does uh, a couple of stealth camping with his motorcycle, which is kind of cool. Um, one thing that he did was awesome. I'm trying to locate it, but I think he's got like this kind of uh, blanket or it's a some sort of a tarp that uh, I think it's made in China somewhere it's something that uh, you get you got some sort of a camera and you point it towards the woods a bunch of trees and then you put the blanket or a tarp on the bike that's what he did and then he turned on the camera and dude his his bike just disappeared you know it basically projected the uh, the woods onto the tarp you know and that was awesome dude so yeah look around like I said it's definitely made in China somewhere There's a few YouTube videos that I saw. There's a Chinese guy in what seemed to be a garden. And, you know. But anyway, I couldn't find that exact thing. But I found something similar to it. It's the uh, Harry Potter invisibility cloak. Except this one's got an app on it. You know, it's kind of cool. But when I first saw it, I was like, holy crap, dude, I want that, you know. <laughs> All right, so this is basically it. Now well, let's see as far as the hammock, which I've got over there.
part that I actually knew it right. That it was going to be, because I just added on. I was guessing. So this is the ridge line, and I think I didn't set it up that I had to go back some more. Tell them scared. Because if it's a kid, I'm scared. Like two little scared. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it's 
not bad. You know, and if I want to, if I've got like one treat, you know, I like, could have easily done that one. But I want to try both and see if it works. Because, you know, it would have been a phenomenal fall on my ass for you guys to watch. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I mean, I could just choose one for that tree. For that tree, you know, or any other tree. And then, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not a bad little thing. I just got to figure out what else to do now as far as the hammock. If you guys have any hints, I was watching some YouTube and, you know, we're talking about underquilts and, you know, that stuff is all Greek to me and I'm Italian, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the underquilts is going to be interesting. Also, too, what I just thought, what about privacy? What about a, uh, you know, I put a tent up here. What happens when I want to change? Let's show you a little bit of the setup. Um, yeah, so if you look down, you know, I mean, it's not that hard. Like I said, about six to eight feet. Triangle. That's it. That's about as simple as it is. Alright guys, well, thanks for uh, being with me.